going to show you how to cut out the spring hole uh, underneath the bobblehead. That's going to allow the bobblehead to move side to side on the shoulders of the body uh, without hitting it and also give a place for the spring to fit in underneath. Okay, so for this example I've done just a simple revolved head and made a hat. Um, and the reason I made that is so that the center mass will be off just slightly. So I want to show you at the end of this video how to check for center of mass as well. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to um, look on the side plane of the bobblehead. So from the side, I'm going to create a sketch. I want to choose this vertical plane that's on going through the middle of the head front to back so that I'm drawing from the side. In my case, I'm drawing from the right side. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to make a line that goes almost to this origin, but not quite on the origin, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, in case we have, well, basically, it's just in case we have to move that ever, um, if we attach it to the origin, then it's going to have constraints saying it always must be attached to the origin, so I'm just going to avoid that. And I'm going to just make it just really close to the origin in case I have to move it. Um, if your bobblehead somehow is perfectly balanced the first time, you wouldn't have to worry about this, but chances are pretty good that you might have to move the spring hole a little bit. So we're going to make the bottom line 11 and the vertical line 6 millimeters. Okay, and I can drag my dimension up here just to check. And then I'm going to connect those two with a spline line. So grab spline line from the toolbar. And I'm just going to make just like a three point curve there. And I, if I hit select, I can adjust those after however I like until I sort of find a curve that I like. And then I'm going to mirror the curve and the bottom line around that line that I drew, that six millimeter tall line, so that I have a front and back. Okay, almost done. And the last bit of drawing that I need to do here is I'm going to draw a rectangle inside. The bottom two corners are going to be inside this curve, and that's important because we want to make sure that those, um, that when we revolve this in a minute, that nothing shows. So I'm going to just put a point here, and I'm going to draw, start drawing a rectangle. And I want this one to be 5 millimeters wide, and if I hit tab, I want it to be 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters tall. Okay, and if I tab, tab, this looks okay, I'll hit okay. And my two, you see the bottom two corners of my rectangle are inside the curve, so that's perfect. I want them to be pretty close, so I'm just going to slide them up a little bit and just make sure they're inside. Okay, great. We are ready to we're finished, ready to finish the sketch, ready to cut the holes. So I'm going to say finish sketch, and I'm going to go to the extrude tool, click these now three pieces because this rectangle will use a little piece, and I'm going to go to the home view and extrude that out. If I change it to symmetric, I can extrude it both ways at the same time. I'm using the cut option, and that's what I want here. That's going to allow us to have cut the hole side to side for our bobblehead, which is great. And the last step is to use that square or that rectangle that we drew. So I turn my sketch back on and use that rectangle that I drew um, to revolve and cut a hole. Okay, so let's go try to grab that rectangle. If I can't grab it, I can turn my body off for a second. Click those two turn the body back on, and now I can revolve all those two pieces around the axis, which is that vertical line on the back of the rectangle. Also cut, and say okay. And because it's inside that curve, if I rotate underneath, I shouldn't have any little weird fragments or anything. Yeah, but if I've got a five millimeters, another five millimeters, I've got a centimeter diameter, cylinder which is a centimeter tall and I've got the curve side to side cut out. That looks pretty great. Um, if I wanted to fancy it up a little bit I'd probably fillet those two curves on the inside just a little tiny bit, not too much because I don't want the um, spring to fall out or be loose. So I'll say 0.5 just to make it uh, be smoother and then on the outside I'm going to fillet those two curves a bit more maybe. A little piece there that I need to grab. Good. Now I'm going to fill out those ones a bit more. I think I'm maybe like 1, 1 1.5 or something like that. That just gives that a nice smooth edge. 
So this bobblehead will feel nice if you pick it up by the bottom of the head. All right. So we are almost done. And if I went to the right view again and zoomed in, um, I think because this is the center of my um, hole, this is going to be pretty close to the center of mass. The center mass should be right in the middle, but because of this hat, it's sticking out a little bit. So we can check and go inspect, center of mass, and then you're going to choose the body you want to check the center of mass for, which is this one. And I should only have one body if I open it up. Oh, I've got two bodies. So let's see where our second body is. I've got a little tiny piece of something in there. That's all right. So for this one, um, and that might happen because of, that probably happened because I had my sketch was just a little tiny bit too high. I'm going to check my center mass by going inspect, center mass, click on here, oops, and say okay. And our center of mass is directly above our spring, the center of our spring hole. So that's pretty great. If it wasn't, let's say the center of mass was back a little bit or forward a little bit, I would come to my my um, spring hole sketch, edit my sketch, and then I can double click and select all those pieces, and I should be able to just drag them and line them up. So in our case, I need to move them just a hair backwards, I think, and I'll bring this down just a hair. And you'll notice this should fix my, I should get rid of the other body because I've just brought it below the bottom line. Let's say finish sketch. And now I've only got one body. I got rid of that little tiny, <clears throat> tiny little trace at the bottom. And I've lined it up pretty perfectly with that center of mass vertically, which means this bobblehead won't um, lean forward or back <clears throat> when it's resting. If that center of mass was ahead of the spring, it would mean the bobblehead would lean forward. And we wouldn't want that. We want it to rest perfectly up and down when it's not ha when nothing's happening. And that's it. So we've got a center of mass uh, confirmed. We've checked it. We've got our uh, spring hole cut out. If I had this had a face on it, if it wasn't just a demo, it had a face and everything, I would be done. <laughs>